Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a cat. Although it looks a little bit complex, it's actually really easy. Let's get into it! In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Sublime Watercolor Pack and the Cold Press Canvas that's included in the pack. Everything will be linked below. We're going to start off by drawing a rough sketch. Let's draw the ears first, and I'm using the 6B pencil from Procreate. And I feel like the ears are a little bit too big here, so I'm going to select it and size it down. And now I'm just going to draw a rough sketch just like this. We're not going to be actually using the sketch in the final painting, so it doesn't really have to be that neat. Now that I'm done the sketch, I'm going to start coloring. So let's make a new layer. And I'm going to pick out a very dark brown, almost like a black. And I'll be using the bold rough brush. And I'll just start off by coloring the ears. And you can just follow along. Just to let you guys know, I'm using a photo from Google as a reference, so feel free to look for an image on Google if you prefer to paint a different breed, or even better, you can paint your own kitty. Although the paint strokes look quite rough right now, we're going to blend it out using the basic blender, so don't worry about that now. And I'm just going to continue coloring the top of the cat as well as the sides and you can just follow along on how I color if you'd like. I'm using a lighter brown to color the inside of the ears. Now I'm going to grab that dark brown that we've used previously and just color the face of the cat and it doesn't really matter if you just color over the eyes, the nose, the mouth uh, because we're going to just color over it later on. Going over the same area once again to intensify the color. This cat had a variety of colors so I'm going to use an orangish color as well as a light brown to color the fur. Feel free to play around with different colors and add a lot of variety. Now that we've roughly colored the cat, we're going to now use this basic blender to blend out all of these overlaps and to make everything look a bit more natural. When blending, it's really important to pay attention to how the blended paint looks like actual fur. So I try to blend little bits at a time to make it look like real cat fur. It may look a little bit scary right now, but we're going to add the details pretty soon, so it'll be okay. Now I've blended every fur, so let's move on to the next step. To be honest, I'm not happy with that orangey color there, but it's all on the same layer, so I cannot fix it. I'm going to make a new layer. And let's go and pick out a color. I'm going to grab a white, a complete white. And let's make the brush very small. And I'm going to draw some 
fur on the top like that. It looks a little bit like whiskers. Once you make a stroke, you add a little bit of color on the base to make that base a little bit thicker. That looks pretty good. Later on, we're going to add some whiskers using the exact same method. I just want to draw out the face first, so let's wait. And now I'm going to get the basic blender and just blend out the base. And let's make a new layer now. And using white, I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm going to sketch out the face. Now the nose will be here and the mouth area again the sketch really doesn't have to look perfect because the final painting we won't be seeing this sketch we just want to have like a basic ratio there okay that looks all right now that we've added this basic sketch let's make a new layer I'm going to grab a grayish black and paint around the cat's face. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to add more color to the face so that the cat can look a little bit more 3D there. Adding color variations of a similar color and blending it out can make an area look less flat and more 3D. So right now I'm adding different colors grays and light grays and blending it out. Let's make a new layer now and grab a black. And I'm going to draw an outline around the cat's eyes. And draw some black fur in the middle. Of course, you'll want to blend everything out. Now let's turn off that sketch we had before. And I think we're now ready to color the eyes. Now let's make a new layer to color the eyes. And I'm going to pick out a light blue. We're going to start off light and move to bolder blues. Let's just fill that eye in. I'm going to smooth out this overlap with the basic blender. As you can see, I've added a darker blue on the bottom of the eye and I've added a black round circle. I'm adding a grayish color on top of that to make it look less flat. To make something more three-dimensional, you just want to add a little bit more color to it. A similar color. And then we'll add in some light reflections. I'm unhappy about how the eyes are so close together, so I'm going to go back to this black layer and move it to the top. And using a black, I'm going to just draw some more outlines around the eyes to change the shape. Now that looks a little bit better. The power of digital art. Now all we need to do is add more color variations and details to make the face look more 3D. Let's make a new layer and we're going to grab a grayish color.
and just like how we did before we're going to add more color variations to the mouth area and blend it out to make it look like the light is kind of reflecting off of that surface. You can add a white outline here just to make it look like the light is hitting this area. As always, you'll want to blend this out to make it look more natural. Just adding more of that final touch. Just like the method that we used before, I'm adding some whiskers. You can blend the tip to make it look more natural. As we finish this piece, you can add more brush strokes below to add in more fur and I'm using the fuzzy round brush as well as the bold rough brush. You can certainly play around with different colors to add variation and depth. So that is basically it for this tutorial. Honestly, I'm not so happy with this final result, but I hope you guys got the main idea of how to paint fur and a cat without sketching out too many details. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.